Hey, Gateway folks, this is Andrea Beck, the registered dietitian from SSM Health. I am talking to you today about the mental health behind uh, health in general, behind even nutrition. So I thought you guys might enjoy this topic. Um, it's actually something that I talk about often because the mental side of health ties in so much with actual nutrition of what you're going to put into your body. I, I can meet with a client or a patient over and over again and teach all this nutrition education so much to where they could stand up in front of a class and teach it. But that doesn't mean that the mental side of it is there to where they want to go home and grab an apple instead of chips, or they're able to turn to something positive instead of uh, ice cream when something emotional happens, um, or they've had a hard day. And so there's so many different reasons why we turn to food, so many different emotions. Uh, so whether it's just a habit, or it is an emotion of of joy, of sadness, of boredom, of anger, um, it's good and bad, good and bad emotions that we turn to reach to food. So there are times that I recommend so many different things because we're all different. So there's different avenues to take. Um, I recommend books, podcasts, devotionals, or actual counselors. I love all four. And so what I tell people is that there, there's been times in my life where I have literally utilized all four in one month. Um, maybe it was seeing a counselor every other week. Uh, and then on top of that, I was reading uh, a motivational book over the weekend when I had downtime. Uh, maybe I was listening to a podcast as I was folding laundry. And maybe I was doing a devotional um, early in the morning before the children were awake. And so I'm doing this combination of all four uh, to really drive that message home of whatever I was working on um, inside at that time. So all four are great. You could find one that works for you. I have just three books here in front of me that I just have here at work. I have more at home, but the three I have with me, one is called, What Are You Hungry For? Another one is called, Eat pray, love. And the third one I have is if you have a craving, I have a cure. And so I love the idea of tying in your faith with trying to stop emotional eating. So in that moment of you wanting to grab the bag of chips from out of emotion, you could turn to a book, you could turn to a devotional, you could turn to prayer. And so then that way you're really working on the mental side of health. You have this knowledge of, you know, you need to grab the apple for a snack. You know, your body needs that, you know, your body needs the vegetables at dinner, but then you're really tying in the mentalness of, of wanting to, of wanting to make your body healthier because you, again, you can have all these education, but you've really got to want to, um, I wanted to pull up my devotional. And so it's just called the Holy Bible app. And so on this particular one, you can uh, go to the word plans and go to the word search. And then you can type in things like stress, emotion, weight, um, food, weight loss, uh, anything that you can think of that would type into what you're feeling, and then you can read about that on a daily basis. So some that are tied into just nutrition, there's one called healthy eating God's way, uh, body image, um, the Daniel 14 day plan, weight loss God's way, pray, sweat, eat, repeat, chasing perfect, the weight loss scriptures get out of your head, made to crave, mind nutrition, overcoming temptation. There's so 
many of them. So then if you're fueling your mind with this idea of that you already have this faith and you're trying to tie in together, how can I make the two better? Well, you can make the two better together. So then that way, at one point, you're working on this uh, faith side of your life, but you're also trying to make your temple, this that God gave you healthier and stronger. And so then you're tying in that mental side of I want to, I want to make my temple stronger better. And so those are just a few ways that I find very helpful. Again, you can turn to a book, a devotional, a podcast, or a counselor or all four and just really get toned in with how can I make my mental health as strong as I'm making the nutrition side of it and then the two together just make your goals just so much easier to achieve let me know of any questions or comments you can always comment below and I'll be happy to discuss have a great day guys